Hello everyone and welcome to Info360. I'm your host Alan. In today's video, we are going to look at testicular torsion. Testicular torsion is an emergency condition. It occurs when a testicle rotates, twisting the spermatic cord, which provides blood flow to the testicle. The twisting cuts off the testicle's blood supply and causes sudden and often severe pain and swelling. In most cases, Testicular torsion occurs in people who have a bell clapper deformity. In most males, the testicles are attached to the scrotum, making it hard for them to twist. In males who have bell clapper deformity, the testicles are unsecured and can move and twist in the scrotum. Testicular torsion is most common between the ages of 12 and 18, but it can occur at any age, even before birth. Yes, you heard it right. This problem can occur during pregnancy before delivery or around the time of birth. Thankfully, it's a rare problem, especially in new bones. Testicular torsion can happen after intense exercise, while someone is sleeping, or after an injury to the scrotum. You may be more likely to have testicular torsion if you have had one before, or if someone in your biological family has had one. But most of the time, there is no known cause. Testicular torsion usually requires emergency surgery. If treated quickly, the testicle can usually be saved, but when blood flow has been cut off for too long, a testicle might become so badly damaged that it has to be removed. I can hear you asking if a person could live or reproduce after getting his testicle removed. Yes, a person could live with one testicle, and in most cases, people with one testicle can get someone pregnant. Remember, one testicle can provide enough testosterone for you to get an erection and ejaculate. As long as you're in good health and don't have any underlying conditions that could impact your fertility, you should be able to have children. But if both testicles are removed, sperm cannot be made, and a man becomes infertile. Also without testicles, a man cannot make enough testosterone, which can decrease his sex drive and affect his ability to have erections. When both testicles have been removed, the next step is usually testosterone replacement therapy, which can be discussed with a urologist or a family doctor. Sometimes, the spermatic cord may twist and then untwist on its own, increasing the risk of testicular torsion recurring. Even if the pain goes away when the cord untwists, it is crucial to see a doctor and not ignore it. Now let's look at the signs and symptoms of testicular torsion. Sudden severe pain in scrotum, swelling specially on one side of the scrotum, abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, one testicle appears to be higher than the other, frequent urination, fever and difficulty walking. If you have sudden pain in your scrotum, please go to the emergency room right away because saving the testicle becomes more difficult the longer the spermatic cord stays twisted. Does testicular torsion always require surgery to fix it? In rare cases, the doctor might be able to untwist the spermatic cord by pushing on the scrotum. But most guys will still need surgery to attach both testicles to the scrotum to prevent torsion from happening again. Your urologist will let you know if you need surgery after examining you. What can be mistaken for testicular torsion? Epididymitis is a relatively common condition that can easily be confused with testicular torsion. Epididymitis is managed medically, whereas testicular torsion is a surgical emergency. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and share it. To watch more interesting and informative videos like this, please subscribe to Info360.